Okay, welcome to the workshop to mind test and modding and scripting from me, Sandro. Uh, at first, uh, this session will be saved, uh, recorded, uh, on the to know if you uh, are uh, a little bit patient uh, for your video also, please uh, think about it. Okay, uh, at first, uh, this is a workshop. Uh, you can do it uh, in real time with me. Uh, I will try it uh, also. You see in the screen share um, and on the left side uh, my presentation and uh, the right upper side my test and then the uh, right down side uh, my file manager midnight commander. Okay, I know I will uh, speak sometimes really fast. Um, I hope I can. Um, smooth a little bit down, but uh, please talk to me if it's uh, too fast. Okay. Um, at first, who am I? Uh, my name is Sandra Mert. I'm from Dresden in Germany, and I work as a teacher at a school. It's called Freie Alternativschule Dresden. It's a private school, and um, I teach um, so-called data lessons. Um, it's a format uh, which I created. I am also a teacher of physical education and cool, I am a teacher of my test. Uh, and also in my free time, more or less free time, I'm working in the health work uh, with children and teenagers um, in the My Desk for Kids project. And uh, there we have a regular uh, project every Monday. And also we have holiday workshops or projects in schools and uh, projects for the city management in Dresden and for architects and so on. Um, I'm doing this for at least 10 years or so. Yeah, okay. And also I'm uh, in the further education for gaming in the pedagogy. Um, that's what we, uh, what's my uh, goal of the life that gaming comes into school. Okay. And let us start. Okay. Welcome, Pietro. Um, you are the only one and I only can say, um, please uh, talk in the chat or uh, talk with your audio if you have uh, some questions. Um, and uh, the first uh, step I talked, this a uh, workshop. And uh, if you can, uh, you can work with me in real time. Okay, the first one is um, what I said, what we have to do, start my test. Uh, in the uh, predictions I had uh, written that um, it's cool if you had a mind test installed. My colleague uh, Nack had a talk an hour ago or so where uh, he described how to install mind test. Uh, in this uh, case, I, uh, yeah, I, I set up, up that mind test will be installed. And um, under that right uh, upper uh, side of the screen share, you see my test. It has five tabs. The first one is the start game uh, for local games. The second one is the join game if you wanted to play uh, the internet. Content is for the modifications. Here we will see uh, the next uh, hour, uh, next 40 minutes, uh, our own mod, which will be creating the settings and the credits. Okay, uh, but uh, at first we will stay at the start uh, game. Um, and create a new world. If you installed it, um, you see nothing here. There is no world and we have to create one. The first step is we click at new and we give the name, it's called test. The other things, I won't speak about it. A lot of things uh, to, to check, but at first it's easy only to create a world name, uh, the world called the world name test, create, and there it is, uh, the world is called test. So, and if you check uh, at the configure button, uh, we see that's the, that only the mind test core mods are here. Yeah, on the plus you can uh, put it out and nothing more. Mind test is in the vanilla state, a really poor game. <laughs> and if you want to play it uh, really successful, you have to install mods. There are a lot of mods, but uh, Nak, my colleague, talked about it. But now we see at first we have installed Mind test, there's no more mods. Okay, so, and we play it. You can only check, uh, check the button and play the game. And we are now a oh, nice uh, apple tree. Uh, we are in the Mindless game. We can work around and so on. Yeah, and we see uh, there are only 13 pages of uh, items, a really small amount. 
Okay, but my test is working. Okay, back to the exit menu. So, and now we are um, looking in the right uh, corner, the right uh, upper corner, uh, down the corner, there are we seeing the MyTest folder. Uh, MyTest, not told about it, uh, is, it can be used in Mac and Windows, and Linux, and so on. I'm working on Linux here, and there's the MyTest folder. And at first, it's really, really clean. You have a client folder. There's only the server list where nothing is in, and you have a world list. And now we see there's the test, and we have, uh, have a debug file. Nothing for today, but if something goes wrong, that's a real starting point. And the mind test configuration file. Um, nothing for today, but um, there can you put a lot of stuff in. Okay, but worlds. Worlds, now we have our test world. And if you look in the test, uh, we can see there are a lot of files, but nothing for today. <laughs> it will be a much more longer uh, workshop if we look here, but uh, there's the um, authentication uh, database, some other files uh, for the map or for the player uh, for itself and so on, but nothing more. But it's nice to see this and to look around and you can manage a lot of things. So, and test. Um, now it's the question, we are the bots. We want to create uh, today a bot, but there is nothing. Yeah, my test is really fine and small, and uh, it's only there if you need it or if you create it. Okay, we are going to step four. Every programming starts and scripting starts with the hello world, and so uh, we will do this again, uh, also. Uh, we are going into the file system, uh, going in the worlds or uh, worlds folder. Yes. And there we create a mod folder. Okay, I create it and mods. So, and in there we are creating a folder called hello because our uh, task is to write a mod which is saying hello world in my test game. So, we are creating hello. Okay, and now we in the mods, we have to create one, only one file. And this is called init lua. Okay, I will create this file. And now we can edit it. And we edit it with a only one, only file. It's a line mindtest.log and say hello world. There it was. Save it. And we go and my test. See there, our world is there. But if we start it, we start it, nothing happens. Nothing happens. There's not, uh, nothing in, in the chat or something else because <laughs> we had to say this world that's using a mod. And there is no mod. <laughs> okay, I will see. That we now have to put this. Sorry about that. This file, this folder, we had to put there in the main, in the core uh, folder of mind test. But not the hello world, that was wrong. Here we have to put it in. Mods. So, and here we put it in. Okay. And I will see. There is it. Okay. The mods folder can be at uh, various locations. Uh, in the most cases, uh, if you play uh, only on your local uh, device, you will put it in the core folder. But if you want to change or uh, the world is uh, at an internet server or so, it will be in the world's there okay but for now it's easy only to have it in the core folder in mind test it's called mods and there you have your mod it's called hello and in mind test we say the hello we enabled it and save it and now we play and hopefully there it is in the upper left corner you see hello world in the chat you see hello world 
yeah, we have finished and can be proud. We have finished our first mod. It's uh, doing nothing else than to write in the chat, hello world. Okay, now we are going to the real stuff. We are creating a node. A node, what is a node? A node is all what you can place in my test. It can be a block, uh, it can be something else, it can be a tree, it can be all or whatever. All the blocks in my test are called nodes. And a node we have to see. So we need a picture. And um, you can use the pictures. Uh, I have put it in the cloud. The link is in the description uh, or the chat and here in the description and also in the chat. And uh, there you can download it. Uh, also the files we are creating now in the next uh, 30 minutes. Um, if you want to create your own image, there are two uh, important things. Um, it's a real small file. You know, my test is a pixel game and it has uh, 16, 16 pixel um, should be, and it has to be a PNG file. Okay. Now you have your file. And what the next is, you have to put it in this so called textures uh, folder. And we know that my test has only necessary things. So you have to create the texture folder. So create a folder called textures, go into and put, in our case, the first block PNG, put it in. So, but now we have to say, my test, that there is a mod and a texture. And so we have to create the modconf file in the folder of hello. You remember, there's also, uh, there's outside the mightest conf, but uh, for the mods, you have a modconf which describe all the things of uh, this mod which, which we are creating. Uh, we look uh, into uh, this mod and we see it needs a name. It needs a description, my first mod maybe. And now it's really, really necessary because we want to use something from the default blocks. We want to use the sound. Um, so had, we have to, uh, to write into this mod conf which other mods we needed. In our case, we only need the default mod and it sits here. The next one you can put it with a comma and so on. Okay, name, description, depends. Save, ready. So now we have a mod, Midas knows what mod, but we have to say that this new block, this node, this node, um, which, which texture it will need, uh, which uh, groups uh, this block will be in, if you want to put it off or so, and which sound it makes. We'll log into. The first one is, what you see here, the first was the Mitest log. This part is uh, shown in the presentation. And also here, uh, we look around the first line. Uh, the function is called Mitest register node. So it was easy, we will register a new node. Then we have our mod, it's called hello. And then how this block will call first block in this case. Then the description of the first block, my first block, and now necessary uh, which PNG is needed uh, to, uh, to look nice for this block. In our case, first block point uh, dot PNG. Okay, the next one groups that's um, necessary for uh, how easy this or which tools you can uh, crack this, uh, this block. It will be go too far for today, but here you can say with a shuffle or with a pickaxe or whatever with this word. In this case, with a pickaxe. And then this uh, there we need the default um, uh, mod um, for the sound. It will uh, it sounds like stone crack, and so on. Okay, and then this is was. Now my test knows what to do. Okay, let's test play game, no error message. Let us look in the inventory. Hello, hello is called our mod. And if you look for hello, then you will see. And now we have my first block here. I know my uh, drawing uh, is not so fine, but if you see, we can put now here at the beach, our first block, congratulations, yeah? 
and now because we are in creative mode, we can uh, crack it down with, uh, only with the hand, uh, but in survival mode, you can put it only, uh, crack it only with a pickaxe. Okay, that it was the first block we had done. Congratulations. So, back to menu. So, next one. Every block, or some, some blocks, uh, we want to craft. It's not only a sandbox game where you can look around, you can craft from one to another. Um, on, and um, there's also a the, uh, function that we will look at in the right upper uh, down the corner, uh, like it's written. There it is. You, you can see in the presentation and also here in my editor. Uh, the function is called MindTest Register Craft. It's a crafting recipe, because, uh, so it's simple to know. And the first one is the output. The output is what block will be created. In our case, in our uh, new mod, hello mod, the first block. We want to create a recipe for our first block. And the next uh, table entry is recipe. And you see one, two, three in one row, one line, and one, two, three in uh, the row. And you can remember in mind test, we have the crafting table three by three. And also, it's here only written down default dirt in the upper left corner, default dirt in the middle uh, upper corner, and so on. And you see here, there's nothing written down. That's the free space. And if you read this in this case, uh, in this case uh, we think it will be a, a circle, circle in mind test, you know, but all around, um, but not in the middle. Okay, let's try it. You put it down in the Ineduna, you have to save it. We really start our game. This you can part off. And we are looking for dirt. Take eight dirt, go in the crafting table and put around, you remember, and there it is. From eight dirt in the circle, we can create our first block. Okay. Next step, finished our craft recipe. Okay. But uh, you not only have to uh, blocks and notes uh, in my test, you also have uh, so-called craft items. Um, and craft items are um, items which cannot be placed uh, in the environment, uh, but can be held. In most cases, it's something like something to eat or so. And so we will uh, create an item, a craft item, which can be eaten. Okay, we are going. You see in the presentation uh, the code, but also you can download the, the next cloud or look in my editor. And you see there, mind test register craft item. And like above, uh, at first, which item will be, uh, will be known there uh, is from a hello mod and it is called chocolate. And it's a cool thing uh, to have chocolate and the free description, which is shown in the pop up uh, if you hover about the item and uh, which picture. The picture must be in the textures folder we had seen at first. And now that's the special and the craft item. What to do if you hold it? And it's on use, the parameter, and then my test item eat. And the eight means uh, you can get four hearts for uh, eating one piece of chocolate. Okay, let's try it. We have put it in the Inner Luna, we have saved it, going into my test, put this away, going to chocolate, there it is. And we can eat it, uh, but ah, we, have, we have no hunger mod, uh, but in this case, uh, you will get four hearts. Ah, okay. Let us try it. We have a little bit of time. Let us go. Change from creative mode, uh, not change the creative mode, but enable damage. Go into. But now, we, we, how we can lose. Uh, okay. That's preferred. Uh, grant me all. Now we can fly. 
Okay, and now we can't fly. We have lost some hearts. Taking now chocolate. And yeah, there are all four hearts. Okay, you see um, this easy way you can uh, craft so called craft items. Fine. Next step. Ores. Okay, that would be now a little bit too much. I only want to show uh, because that uh, if, if you use this, it will be a much more longer session. Uh, but it's now it will be the, the most uh, more funny part. Uh, it will be uh, it has something to do with uh, creating uh, own worlds and so on. Because or creation uh, is only if you uh, loading new chunks and in this world we had they are loaded a lot of chunks and it will be very. Uh, not so easy to find all the stuff. Uh, I do want to show if you look in the um, presentation. Um, the function is might just register or, and then you have the, uh, the, the the table of parameters like above, but a little bit more um, trickier or more uh, or more entries. Uh, you see the or type, uh, which is um, in, in this case uh, like stone. Uh, it's called where there is how number ors uh, around and the cluster size and so on. And that's will be in the most cases the, the very uh, interesting part in which um, direction uh, or in which high uh, it will be spawned in this case is from minus 100 till minus uh, 31,000. Um, this will be too far uh, to, walk, uh, to walk around, but I think this will be the really nice part if you create a really, really cool worlds, uh, but this will be uh, for level, uh, level two workshop. But only to show you, there's a lot of things uh, you can manage in a mind test. You can all write it down. You can all change, and it will be really funny. Also, there's much to do. Uh, if you're beginning with scripting and modding with mind test, um, you can also. That will be in the most cases <laughs> one of the steps you will do in the first. You need new tools, tools which can uh, crack down uh, hundreds of uh, ad blocks at one time or so. You also can uh, create uh, so called decorations, and uh, a tree is a decoration. It's uh, not only one block, it's um, it's a more than only one block, and you can see uh, you can say uh, how long, how wide, uh, what it does, if it's split, if you uh, crack down one block in the, uh, between, or so. All those things are decorations that are the bigger parts in, in mind test. And also, you can uh, change uh, the biomes, um, the environment, and can say uh, there it's snowing and it's only desert, or uh, some things generate only in snow biomes or whatever. And this was uh, for the in-game and for the uh, program itself, uh, for itself, uh, you can also uh, use comments, uh, you can use variables, you can so operators, uh, it's bigger than and so, and so on. You also can use if then uh, conditions or you can uh, make loops while do and all the things we know from other languages you can use in Lua here in mind test. Okay, there's a lot of things to do. Uh, I only show you the first steps. And if you call, will contact, uh, contact me, um, we, uh, my colleague Nak and I, we had a website. We are called, we are Mindtest for Kids. And you also can write it at contact at Mindtest for Kids net. We are on Mastodon. And also a lot of stuff uh, we had published at our Git repository at Codeberg. Okay. That it was a half hour, and now we will depart for question and answer. And I see there are two more uh, people in the in the, in the chat now, um, but I think uh, you haven't seen all of my presentation, and so I think uh, there will be not so really questions. But please, uh, Annika or Leander, uh, please ask me if you want to know something or you haven't understand it. Uh, if not, this will be the end. Okay, Annika or Leanna, maybe also Nak, maybe you have also a question, uh, then you can ask me.
<laughs> nothing to say, nothing to hear. Um, I I uh, I just unfortunately I just missed uh, basically everything. <laughs> <laughs> just, I was just uh, keen wanted to see if, if it's really about um, about Minecraft and it looks like <laughs> it was about <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> so I'm I'm very sorry. I I, I really like um, I I think it's a really interesting topic. Um, and um, I wish I could uh, attend uh, your session earlier, hmm. but uh, yeah, there were other things to do. I had an own session uh, in the middle of it, and well, um, my my son is uh, he's he from time to time he plays Minecraft, but I couldn't convince him so far to think about coding in Minecraft uh, and so on, but. Yeah, maybe later. Uh, uh, are your sessions? Uh, I, I think they are being recorded, and we can yeah them later. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, can you you can look at? Uh, I don't know exactly where, but uh, I think at the web page you will find where the recordings are, and then you can uh, look around. And also now you have uh, my presentation will also somewhere, and uh, also you can contact uh, me if you have uh, some questions about it. Also, it was uh, really only the first step to see uh, that in my test you can change everything and you can all do. Uh, that makes it a really uh, nice uh, game for learning how to code because uh, all the mods and so on are written in Lua and Lua is uh, really a simple uh, programming uh, language. Uh, exactly, it's not programming language, it's a scripting language. And uh, so um, it's a really the first step for, for younger uh, pupils or students. And uh, we had uh, students from seven, eight or nine years old, which are doing her first steps uh, with mind test. And uh, all the, 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 the programming structures like loops or conditions and so they are here in the simplest uh, way and they learn how to program and that's really cool did you use uh, coding da vinci uh, data sets in your in your experiments in uh, our experiments here for today not um, uh, but we had uh, in other um, projects uh, we used um, open data from uh, the, the, the city of Dresden and uh, but there were really technical uh, problems to get all the stuff into wine test <laughs> but uh, we had uh, some open data to uh, do uh, some uh, projects but not with coding da Vinci uh, you only asked to show what my, what my test can do and had nothing to do with the open data sets of coding da Vinci. Um, I, I remember um, um, a project from the uh, Getty Museum in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, they they uh, wrote a little tool to uh, um, get images from their uh, online collection. Mm -hmm. via their triple if interfaces into the animal crossing game <laughs> so, so people could um, um, make uh, paintings or even clothes from their um, from from their images so um, this was uh, quite nice i think and you it, it, it i i tried it and it really worked at the end you could watch their the images and it it, it works with any uh, <laughs> so you, you can put image paintings from the state from the state museum or, the, or from other big institutions on your in your house in animal crossing on uh, and, and yeah, um, put them on the wall. And I think that such things could be possible in in Minecraft too. Maybe if you if you have find a way to to um, uh, put images from the outside into the Minecraft world. But I don't know if, if that would would work somehow. Yeah, uh, Nak put some link in the chat. Nak has something to do with our uh, topic. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's uh, two. There are two mods, and they um, um, put images or something else in to my test. I don't have tested, but I believe it functions. It's functional. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm going to to watch your videos later and um, yeah, hopefully okay, I can, yeah. Okay, find it uh, will be here, and uh, now you have also my, my contact. Uh, if there are some more questions, you can ask me, of course. Yeah, sure, cool, thank and thanks, Leander. Okay, and also, uh, Annika, I wrote uh, your message. Um, it's cool that you have uh, maybe know now some more things about my test, and and I think at this stage we can stop and I